This is the story of Zoe Sozo Bethel, age 27, a beautiful model who died mysteriously after falling from a third floor of a Miami condo building while visiting from out of town. The actual cause of her death was said to be blunt force trauma to the head but the actual reason why she fell down to her death has not been fully ascertained. Some says it's all related to her very terrible upbringing which she was trying to distance herself from or probably someone was behind it. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. My name is Zoe Sozo Bethel. I am driven, I am ambitious, and above all else, I am a child of the Most High God. I am a Christian, I am a political conservative, and last but not least, I am a supporter of Donald J. Trump. Zoe Sozo Bethel, age 27, was born into the family of Orlando and Glynis. They were both preachers who called themselves the Apostle and the Prophetess. They had some sort of weird style of raising their kids. They took their kids all over the South, having them participate in inflammatory homophobic rhetoric and wear t-shirts reading God hates gays or God hates whores. Her mother was said to have a history of mental illness and does preach certain ways which usually get her in trouble. Love the word of God. The Bible says put no wicked thing before your eyes. Learn none of the way of the heathen. Well, all I know is Christ taught love. And I just I And this is love. Thank you. I don't see it. See, this is this is love. Oh, it's rebuke. Paul said what? He said, preach the word, be instant in season, rebuke, reprove, exhort with all long suffering, for the time will come when they won't endure. Because their parents were arrested for disorderly conduct and other charges stemming from their public preaching, Kezia, her sister, said they were in and out of foster homes. The kids went through a lot of things when they were young. Zoe grew up trying to put that behind her even though there was a constant reminder of her past. She was still a believer but in a different way than her parents. Zoe became a model and she was actually crowned the Miss Alabama for America Strong 2021. She was very happy and made her more confident about herself and her life. Zoe a mother to a five-year-old from a previous marriage became a political commentator for RSBN, a brand ambassador for Turning Point USA, and Liberty University's Falkirk Center. I'm honestly, I'm kind of glad this is happening because it's, it's separating the wheat from the tears kind of thing. Your faith is going to be put to the test mm -hmm. in going into the end time stuff, and I talk about this a lot, but you know, it talks about a time when Christians, even here, are not going to be able to express their faith in Christ and they're going to have to make a decision. So seeing how, you know, churches, I knew um, someone mentioned about, you know, being in Colorado, how a lot of the churches were shut down and a lot of these pastors were, you know, so quick to just bend the knee and, you know, to let the government take over. But no, you have the freedom of religion that was given to us, not by, not by, you know, the constitution alone, but by God. Mm -hmm. So it's really, these times are going to be testing for everybody. She was also a spokeswoman for Students for Life and affiliated with Project Veritas. Zoe was a strong advocate for the then President Trump. Zoe was also an anti-abortion advocate. She did let the world know how she felt when it came to some things. She was a strong force to reckon with. Zoe, who left home at 16, forged a successful career as a model while also pursuing conservative politics, including trips to the Trump White House, an affiliation with Turning Point USA and participation in a Young Black Leaders Summit. In 2018, she was fired by the Ursula Weidman Modeling Agency in Atlanta after they got wind of her right-wing beliefs. 
Zoe tried to remake herself so no one would know she was the kid from Alabama who yelled, God hates you, to people, she was able to keep it a secret on a national level. She tried to put everything behind but according to some friends, they said something still haunted her about her upbringing. On February 11th at about 12.05 a.m., Miami Police Department officers responded to a call of a possible self-destruct attempt, when they got there, their preliminary investigation revealed that the victim, who was identified as a 27-year-old lady named Zoe Bethel, fell out of a third-floor window. The major details surrounding the fall was not immediately known but she was transported by Miami Fire Rescue to Jackson Memorial Hospital in critical condition. Friends said the beauty queen was reportedly overheard praying before the fall. They said something was going on inside the condo before she fell to the ground. Her friends and family said they want more answers about her fall which police ruled an accident. Her ex-husband said he feels the Miami police have not thoroughly investigated her case. The family took to Instagram to post this, it reads, Zoe had an accident Thursday night, February 10th, and sustained severe damage to her brain slash brainstem and is in a coma. Unfortunately the doctors are saying the damage cannot be repaired and that she may not have much time left. We are praying for God's will to be done, regardless of what that may look like. Her sister, said her childhood was a nightmare. She said her mother, who can be seen preaching and rebuking others in YouTube videos, had a history of mental illness, often kept her kids at home and lectured them about the Bible and their laziness, sometimes up to 18 hours a day. Sometimes their parents would take off with the kids for months at a time to places like Tennessee, Kentucky and Ohio where they would preach, often aggressively. Even though the Bethels owned their home in Loxley, they sometimes went to other towns outside Alabama and tried to enroll their kids in local schools, saying they were homeless. At the same time, they had their kids walk into the schools, wearing t-shirts with inflammatory slogans and passing out religious materials. He also said, he thinks there was some kind of dispute between them, Zoe and her brothers, but the police did not really look into it or talk to possible witnesses. On Friday, February 18, 2022, at approximately 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time in Miami, Florida, our beloved Zoe Sozo Bethel passed from this life into the next as a result of succumbing to her injuries, according to a post that was made by her family members. According to an autopsy report, Bethel died from complications of blunt head injury, and the police said the manner of her death was accidental. This was a tragic accident, and no foul play is suspected. She was said to be trying to overcome her tragic past and that could have been a reason why this happened to her. Even though police thinks it was an accident, her family thinks it's far deeper than that. Whatever it is, we really hope Zoe continues to rest in peace and her daughter grows to her maximum potential without her mother present. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Zoe Bethel.